Hi, welcome to another lecture on spirochetes. Today, I am going to discuss about pathogenesis of syphilis in general, clinical stages, and histopathology in general. We will also summarize the previous lectures. After this lecture, we will make lectures on specific clinical stages of this disease. Syphilis or leus is a chronic venereal infection which is caused by the spirochetes Tryponema pallidum. Tryponema pallidum is a spiral shaped motile bacteria with corkscrew movement seen by dark brown illumination. It is slowly growing. So, it requires treatment for a long time. It was first recognized in epidemic form in 16th century Europe as the great pox. Now, syphilis is endemic in all parts of the world. Tipuno pallidum is a fastidious organism that means it is very fragile. It can't survive outside the human body and can't tolerate heat. Syphilis is transmitted primarily by sexual contact with infected person. It can also transmit from infected mother to baby through placenta. Rarely it can spread through blood transmission. Syphilis is generally treated with penicillin. Clinically, syphilis can be categorized into congenital and acquired types. Based on the clinical course, acquired syphilis is further staged into primary syphilis, secondary syphilis and tertiary syphilis. We will do detailed demonstration on each one of them. But one important thing is that this variation in, in clinical feature is known as protein manifestation of the disease. This is one of those rare pieces of interesting information that they won't tell you in the class. How Tryponema pallidum produces lesion? Tryponema pallidum produces no toxins, no enzymes. It is not a pyogenic organism. It produces systemic disease. But how? Basically, syphilis is a disease of blood vessels and perivascular area. The pathognomic microscopic lesion of syphilis is a proliferative endarteritis with accompanying inflammatory infiltrate rich in plasma cells. Let us analyze this statement. The word pathognomic comes from Greek words pathos means disease and nomon means to judge. Proliferation means rapid increase in number of cells. Endarteritis means inflammation of inner lining of an artery. So, if you see rapid inflammation in arterial intima, that is proliferative endarteritis under microscope with profuse inflammation and a lot of plasma cells, you can be pretty sure that it is syphilis. Endarteritis plays a central role in tissue injury at all sites involved by syphilis. But to be honest, its pathogenesis is not well understood. There is no evidence that a spirochete can cause any damage to the host tissue directly. Instead, it is thought that host immune response is responsible for the endothelial cell activation and proliferation, which is a hallmark of endarteritis which eventually leads to perivascular fibrosis and luminal narrowing. To recap, syphilis is a sexually transmitted infection caused by Tryponema pallidum. It may be congenital or acquired. Acquired syphilis has three stages, primary, secondary, tertiary. It causes narrowing of vessels by proliferative endarteritis and a plasma cell rich infiltrate. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let us know 
in the comment section. Don't forget to share this video with your peers.